Hi. Welcome to Have a Yarn with Charlie. I'm Charlie. <laughs> Hi. It's going crazy here. In today's video, I'm going to show you my way of dyeing cotton yarns. We're going to be using the dishcloth cotton by Mary Maxim, the Rit dyes with the powders. I am in no way a professional. This is just my way of messing around to give you a little do-it-yourself video again. All right, let's get started. And the first thing we do is soak the yarn in water that has salt. I didn't per se measure, but I used about mm, I don't know, half a cup, not, not even half a cup of salt to the water. And I let it sit for about 20 minutes to a half hour. So while it's soaking... I was using the Rit dye and <clears throat> trying to open the package and trying. I'll try some scissors and okay. And I used one cup of water basically all the way up to that first, the bottom of that first rim. And I didn't measure, I just used a teaspoon and tap, 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 tap. I didn't want it coming out too fast. And then we put in, and I stirred it up a little bit. It was a deep, deep red. Very deep. Like blood red. Okay, and then we did the purple and the blue, same way. And tap 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 tap. Okay. These colors came out very vibrant, as you can see right here. And you go, whoop, and this is the purple. I know it's hard to tell through the camera. Okay. And then on to the blue. So I added roughly about a teaspoon of salt to each of the colors just to make sure that the salt would, not the salt, the color would stick to the cotton. And I researched it. With cotton, you, you want to use salt to help the color stick. With wool and natural fibers, you use citrusy stuff like the, the vinegar, the citric acid. And then, yeah, all right. So after soaking for 20 minutes, you want to wring out the extra water. That's what I'm doing here. And we just get that hair out of there. Uh-huh. All right, and grab it. Okay, and then just squeeze it out, which was a little painful with my wrist hurting. But I figured it'd be more fun to have yarn colored, so I just did it anyway. <laughs> and I was holding the camera on a book so you could... No, not a book. My hair dye. The purple for when I hit the thousand bananas, if I do. But okay, so we squeeze out all the extra water. Lay them out. You don't have to. You could just put them in a bucket, whatever. But all right. So I had the four. Remember, it was Mary Maxim, D 
dishcloth cotton yarn and it was a hundred percent cotton or no like 98 percent cotton two percent poly polyester or something so I, I didn't even know if it would work but here I'm spreading out the yarn as much as I can I still have it wrapped with those little tie things and here we go drop a little man I am so nervous doing this okay give a little stir come back and a little here a little there I didn't know that it would suck up the dye so fast and I figured well some's gonna go through onto the plastic and we just mush it in now I wasn't sure what I was doing how the dye would react so I was just mushing it like you would when you wash your hair just trying to lather it all in and I wasn't sure if I was gonna do the whole thing red or spicks and spans and spick and span that's a cleaner so I was just dabbling along and move that yarn out of the way should have moved that a little further away but oh well okay a little bit more and I felt like I wasn't putting enough but the colors were so vibrant and when I was squishing it, it it was coming out a little bit so but here I'm just showing you the red and then we're going to fast forward through the other colors doing the same exact technique I was trying to saturate it yep, picked that dye up that <laughs> leaked through okay and then I was so impressed with this color and I was I'm hoping that when the, I wash it a lot of the vibrance does not come out okay I think we may have the red done yep and here we go and purple it's coming out like a grayish purple and man, I move fast, don't I? Woohoo! Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then the blue. That is my favorite color blue. Look at that. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I was trying to not leave any white. Now, here was the fun part trying to figure out how to wrap it in the cellophane so I could stick it in the microwave at 30 seconds a pop for two minutes <laughs> so I just rolled it up like a sausage and said okay next all right now there was still yarn on the plastic yarn uh, dye on the plastic so I figured, okay, we'll make this a multicolored spectral. And I decided, okay, since the extra dye got on this one, I'll use it in the pan. And here we go. And I'm just pouring it not too much just a little dribble dribble here and there Mush that in Okay, now remember I had just one teaspoon of salt in the dye about half a cup in the soak bath Yeah, 
Okay. Uh, here we go, trying to figure out how to wrap it again. <laughs> Now the heat from the microwave sets the color. That's why it had to be microwaved. Uh, like I said, it was only 30 seconds for two minutes total. Okay, and this one is going to be the red, white, and blue. Reminds me of like the, the American flag. I wanted a lot more white in this one. Okay, and then one more. And I was just using all the leftover dye that I had. Like I said, I only had the, the cup of dye for each color. There's only three colors that I did. And it, it dyed a lot of yarn. And this one was just going to be the red and the white. <laughs> Couldn't figure out how to wrap it up. Okay, there we go. No, no, try again. Eh, eh, yep, no. Yeah. -ha. Okay. Ta da! Get off the extra. <laughs> Thank goodness for gloves. All right. And then. In the microwave they went. And that's when they came out of the microwave. I did not put that silver tin in the microwave. I put them on a microwave safe plate. And here comes the washing part. I didn't use um, hot water. It was just cold regular tap water. I put a dab of Dawn soap gloves because I didn't want to become a rainbow and okay here we go trying to get it out of the wrapper I was so afraid it would melt in the microwave but it didn't dun, 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 dun. There we go. Come on. Come on. It was fun fighting that. Not. <laughs> okay, so. It was the blue yarn with the purple. And it was, it's pretty cool right here. Before I washed it, it was dark purple into light purple and just squishy squashy in the water a lot of the color was coming out I was so afraid to be in the end a uh, a light light color but as I'm washing it you could see that this blue on one side of the water and purple on the other it wasn't mixing yet pretty cool it's the little things in life that make you happy, right? Okay, so then we scrub it, we'll dump it out. Look at all that color, blue and purple. <laughs> and then we just keep going. Fill it, rinse it, fill it, rinse it. <laughs> I believe it was a total of five times, five or six times, until it ran dry, uh, clear. And it was the same with this one, the red, purple, and blue. And it, once they're, they're rinsed, <laughs> you lift them up, they look so raggedy. Like, who did it and ran, or bedhead? And that red looked very <laughs> bad. <laughs> it looked like a blood smear in the, in the pan. But here is the end results.